Okay, to descale a um, Gagnier Classic. Um, I use this often with an open boiler, so I can actually see that uh, the citric acid that I use uh, doesn't really do any, any harm. I kind of tend to leave in the boiler for about 15 or 20 minutes. So I've got my citric acid here. Uh, follow the recommended di uh, dosage. It says um, on the packet, I buy uh, food grade, grade citric acid. Uh, so just pop that. And out here I've got a tank of warm water so it dissolves. Uh, so it dissolves before, um, you know, in the tank. So give it that little stir. So follow the instructions. Uh, a couple of teaspoons would be uh, sufficient. It recommends 50, uh, 50 gram of acid, citric acid to uh, to about half a tank of uh, a kettle. Uh, however, if, because I do this, I use basically about 50 gram with a full tank of water. So I've got another tank here to uh, get the water. So. What I'm gonna do is just run the machine, put the wand inside as well and just run the machine. So let it come out through the uh, brewer head first of all. Uh, occasionally I will then open up the steam wand. So you actually got solution going through the steam wand as well. And I tend to alternate between the two. Turn that off now. So it's now just coming through the brew head again. And stop. And then I would leave for 15 minutes to 20 minutes. So uh, you can turn off the machine and just leave it there and let the solution do its bit inside the boiler to do descale. And then once that's done, turn back on again, and after 15 minutes that is, and then run a bit like you did before, some coming through the brew head. And occasionally through the steam ones. Now I'll let that run until the tank is empty. So after running your tank full of the acid, uh, what I've done is I've just given this a rinse out to make sure there's no more citric acid in here. And then just fill up with fresh water. Again, I'm using cold water now. Again, a full tank would do it. Uh, I'll be back in. And what we're gonna do now is just flush a full tank of water, a bit like we did before, through the group head. Okay, what we're going to do now, we're going to uh, back flush. So, to back flush, I use Kaffiza. And as you can see, I've got a blind basket and some solution here. So, I'm going to pop that on.
and then I've got to that waste pipe there and it's basically on and off on and off At the end, I would uh, empty that, make sure you've got a nice clean basket. Okay, and then pop that on there. Just so we're now we're back flushing with just fresh water. So if there's any cafeza left in the system, we can get that out. So you end up with a nice clean machine. And there we have how to back flush okay people say how long or how often should i descale it really depends in what area that you live uh, i live in nottingham so the water here is pretty awful um so i would descale in nottingham about once a month, uh, once a fortnight, once a month, if you want your Gaggy cl cl Classic to last as long as this one has, which is a 1999, all original parts, uh, just look after it. Descale, descale, descale is the best thing you can do. Uh, so descale in, in a hard water area like this, once a month. If you're in a soft water area, you could then do it once every six months. Uh, and it just depends. Keep an eye on your, your kettle at home. Uh, that that is a sure sign way of, of seeing how often you need to descale yourself. Uh, regarding back flushing, um, I would say that back flush with uh, fresh water. Uh, so just do that two or three times, um, perhaps once a once a week, and then with the cafeza. Um, that's cafeza uh, that I use. Uh, use that I would say about once a month or once a fortnight, uh, we all, depends on how many coffees you have as well. I only have a couple of coffees, so once a fortnight or once a month is good enough for me. If you're making lots and lots of coffee uh, in your machine, then obviously you're gonna increase the amount of time that you do that.